Welcome to another episode in this tactical series, which sees us play with different teams using different tactics. The whole goal is to see how one tactic can be used across a few seasons. We give each team a challenge. In this particular case, we're with Lons, we're in Germany. They won the title last season, playing a very defensive 5-2-2-1. This season, they're in the Champions League. How will they do? Well, did I just say defensive tactic? That's a bit dangerous on Football Manager because most people will seem to think that a defensive system is something that's played on a defensive mentality. I, for example, just look at it in a very simple way. I mean, how many people am I expecting to see coming back to help me defend? And um, I'm sure that there are going to be plenty of people who disagree with me. But for me, a bottom-heavy tactic is generally a bit more defensive because you're going to have more players back during the defensive phase. And that's how I look at things. Now, feel free to disagree with me, but this is my approach to the game. And if you look at how we have done so far, we've been using this 5 2, two one Quickly explain the tactic one more time, because I'm in need of an explanation since I haven't been playing this for a while. Uh, we've got very few PIs in this tactic, right? The wingbacks on Mark Taita, the, um, we use a ball playing defender telling him to stay wider, Mark Taita, and a dribble more. Mark Taita on the wider players. The guy in the center, normally I don't ask him to mark Taita. Then we've got an advanced ward taking more risks, a AP who's roaming, and a shadow striker who's got no PIs. The tactic essentially plays with whip crosses, right? Or sometimes, I mean, this is situational. I have very fast players. I think uh, to some extent, Lois Openda can be quite fast. So I like to put crosses, I like to whip them in so that he can run at defenses. And I generally play these kind of systems, usually with a mid-block, I'll whip crosses more often. Now, that's not to say there is a particular block that you should use whip crosses with. The thing is that, for me, I want to get the ball in behind defenders quickly, so I, I want him to um, run at defenses. So, And I want them to be ahead of him, so that's what the kind of crosses I'm looking for. But it tends to make games one-dimensional. And I generally seem to find myself, in some games, actually thinking about changing this to mixed crosses. So how have we done so far this season? Not too badly. I mean, Champions League-wise, we won the first game against Chelsea, which was a bit of a surprise to me. Um, as you can see, the thing about Football Manager, and I am, I feel strongly about this right now, your substitution strategy is so strong. It's so strong right now on Football Manager. I mean, you make a change, you can flip a game. So I think that Football Manager right now, if you want to be, you want to get good results, have a good plan. Substitutions in the 60th minute mark can, twist, can turn a game around. Today, we're going to be focusing on two matches. We're going to be doing, again, Focusing only on the Champions League. We want to see how far this team can go. I think they're going to get knocked out. We're still in the early phases of this Champions League where they're still in their group stages. So, you know, this is just the second season. So, we'll have Ludogratz and FC Porto today. Haidara, 14-13. I'm going to ask him to play that. Openda to play in attack. Uh, Machado, 15-12. Meeling is there. Cabo, so Summit. Uh, not Wender Bowman. Um, I've been using him a lot, Carlo Fernandez, but he's he's not 100% for this game. So we'll probably keep him on the bench. And Shabani is injured. So we'll have to start with Wender Bowman, who I've never I've never played him in this position. Uh, so that'll be a first. Okay. So it's time to find out how one of our players does that. Now, Ludogratz, in this table, we have Chelsea, we have Porto, we have ourselves. And then we have Ludogratz. So this is actually a pretty tough group. Ludogratz, uh, first game, they lost to Porto 3-1 away from home. I, I think that we should... I think that we should take the game to them. Play with a higher... I don't think we should play with a mid-block. Yeah. I'm pretty certain I think I sh we should actually attack them from the get-go. Just for this game. Because... Um, if I play with a mid-block, I'm hoping to hit them in the transition. Uh, I'm going to take a chance, right? Looking at their formation as well, they are lining up 
inverter, wing back, full back, DM, Mazala, AP, inside forward. Yeah, they want to camp as well. So what I'm going to do is, we're going to be playing a bit high up the pitch, going to have just for this game. We're going to go counter press. I'm not playing a mid block. I'm actually going to go all the way. Um, then we are, why not do, <laughs> let's go all the way. All right, so we're going to go wide center back on attack. We're going to underlap, underlap, left and right. We're going to go wide center back on attack. So I'm only, I'm re, I'm going to be pushing everybody into attack. So uh, we got, the reason why I'm doing it is because in transition when we defend, we're going to come drop back with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So in, now I'm going to get these two to punch up the pitch as well. Uh, pass into space, we cross. Uh, dribble less, focus blade on the left on the right the question is do I want to walk ball into box there's a nice voice that's going on in my it has gone off in my head that says why don't we just patiently probe them and try and score goals hmm. instead of driving hmm, yeah okay I this is one moment where I'm doubting myself because sometimes you just want to play off one script instead of uh, trying things out right so <laughs> this I like to play off one script like who doesn't you don't have to make minimal changes to your tactic but I like to try different things out in games and sometimes yeah you know it might come back to hurt me I'm the sort that's always gonna try regardless of well, I don't know it sounds like a good idea alright um, okay we're gonna work ball into box Mix cross, work ball, no more pass into space. We're going to take the game to this opposition. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, we conceded the corner. I'm not afraid. Come on, corners are fine. Now it's offside. Don't get excited. He's Sarah. He was, he's already standing in an offside position, so I'm not worried. Okay, here we go. Mailing with the throw. Gets it up and uh, when the Bowman... Finds Abdul Same shoots and gives us the first goal. I feel sorry for them. It sounds that it's like a very lucky throw in. Yeah, I, I feel very bad for them. Yeah. It's not planned. There's nothing here that even suggested that this was this was uh, something I had in mind. Because uh, they've been the ones uh, dominating, right, the first couple of minutes. As you can see, in most of the game, the possession is being held by them. In fact, uh, most of the, I mean, now most of the game has been played in our half. Okay. So when the Bowman with the free kick, Mailing gets there. They try to, I'm looking at our players to see whether, yep, good block there. They rush that nicely. Nice ball from our wide centre back. They can't get there. The wing back, ooh, Openda. Chotat is looking tired already. Chotat, yeah, he's got a knock. So he finds Mailing with that pass. And then um, they go wide. There's a yeah. We have to take Shotat off, right? Openda comes back brilliantly to help us defend that Shotat out to Ruol. Then so Shotat now to our once upon a time playmaker. <laughs> nice pass to Mailing. Mailing just has to yeah. It's a brilliant second. Yeah, he kept that because the striker was already offside. Right, so the run um, from the run, the, the, all the runs are solid. They all came in support. You see the white center back, how high up the pitch he comes. Yeah, so that was good. All right, we can definitely take off uh, Shotat now and bring on uh, Junior Onana. We take off Mailing as well and bring on Haidara. And on the right, we'll take off Cabo and bring on Frankowski. At the start of the second half. Um, and what we'll do is dial things down. And play with a mid block now. And turn this guy into a center back on support. This guy on, hang on a minute. Oh, <laughs> we think this guy was a white center back on support. This guy was a ball playing defender on defense. And this, this will be a wide wing back on support. Okay. Actually, I, I'll turn this. Makes more sense that this guy is a wide center back because he's a ball playing wing back here. 
Okay, so my center back on support, and this guy should be a ball playing defend on defend, and we'll tell him to dribble more. All right. All right, my worry is that um, we lose Samet. That's the, I don't want him to get injured. You know, Samet, brilliant pass. With Onana, Frankowski shot. Should have done better with that. Yeah, a long kick out from the goalkeeper. The ball playing defender gets that. Here goes the ball winning midfielder. Nice pass to Frankowski. And Openda puts that away. But is that offside? I think Openda might have been onside. Yeah, he might have been just a fraction on site. Yeah, this is brilliant. This is very quick, quick football from the boys. When the Bowman getting out to Frankowski early crosses it to Openda. Openda buries that. Okay. Now we got 63rd minute. I'm going to make my other changes. We're going to take off uh, this. No, undo that. Oh, we're going to take off the Costa and bring on uh, Carlo Fernandez. And then... We're going to bring on Puli. He's a youngster, so he's getting a chance to play as a ball-winning midfielder. Junior Nana out to their playmaker. He finds Haidara. Haidara cuts in. Openda had a chance to get another. Okay, then so out to Puli. Gets it to the ball-playing defender. Nice football. Ooh, that ripped. That was a ripping goal. Nice, beautiful football. Give and go and gets into the area. The shadow striker adds another to the tally. It's got to be the best goal of the bunch. And Rual is injured. Oh, no. We can't even take him off. Okay, so I don't know how many days Rual is going to be out for, man, after this game. Lons goes top of the table. Rual is out for six weeks. Joy Shoda is out for two or three weeks. Oh, my goodness. That means Rual will not be available for the match against Porto. It will take a huge magic trick to make him available for that game, man. So, um, I want to check out certain things from that game, right? Because I'm not entirely satisfied with certain things that are happening in the game. Uh, I won't go into the details at the moment. But let's find out together. Okay, so we've got three clear-cut chances for ourselves and one for the opposition. And we'll go to analytical data. We go to players and then we'll go to shots. Our players, shots. Let's go to scoring chances, clear cut chances. For lawns, they say we had three. Lop Openda with two. And David Pereira with one. That's good. Okay, so this tallies. Half chances for Carlo Fernandez. And uh, half chance here, but where's the other chance? Uh, so let's look at Ludogratz. Ludogratz uh, scoring chances. One for the Sierra. This position, I want to watch this highlight. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't count as a clear cut chance. <laughs> Uh, okay, that does definitely doesn't count because it's offside. How do you? I'm sorry, you got a the guy had a clear cut chance. It was offside. Oh my goodness, this makes the data in this game dangerously inaccurate. Quite a few of our players have to be rested for our next game, so this is going to be very, very strange game for us because I don't have my regular team right now. Right, so we're gonna carry on playing with the mid block. Um draw teams in but as you can see uh, the entire back line is new and we've got to use um, I'm going to have to use him as a ball winning midfielder Poreba who's got absolutely no aggression so this is going to be quite difficult this match and co coupled with that all three defenders uh, have a combined jumping reach of about less than 36 so you can imagine how short most of them are yeah so this is this is going to be challenging the best uh, is Danso. Danso has got jumping reach of 18. So he's the best in the center. The, the outer ones, they've got like 12 and 11. So this is going to be, this is uh, 
I, I think this guy is a single digit Mohaidara. I think six jumping reach. He goes back to help them defend. Um, you're making it too easy for them to attack us. Again, I'm going to have to try and think of uh, keep putting a lot of pressure on this team. So we're going to go white center bank on attack. White center bank on attack. And then wing bank on a uh, wing bank on attack. And then we'll go under lap, under lap, counter, counter press. And I'm gonna push high up the pitch. I have no idea whether they're using full backs or they're using wing backs. I'm just take, I'm just gambling right now. So I'm trying to get score a few goals before the end of the first half. Got a throw Poreba. Goes far post. The defenders are... They're not get able to clear the danger. So Haidara gets it. Knight strikes the woodwork. The other wing back goes to gather the ball. Yeah, I thought as much. Full back, full back, CD, CD, Dieb. Inverter winger, inverter winger, F9. Yeah, I don't allow them to camp. It should be fine. As long as I don't allow them high up the pitch. Yeah. So we will we'll be able to dominate um, possession. We just have to keep pressure on this team. Medina, Poreba gets it to Cabo. The playmaker, Poreba back to the... Oh, okay, good. Down the line. Cabo, nice. The playmaker back to the... Yes! That's what I want to see the white centre-backs doing, which is uh, basically crossing the ball from there. All right, we might have to bring on fresh legs now. Don't think they can they can finish the game. All right, we're gonna take this guy off and the Bowman, then Cabo, Cabo for Cabo will have to stay between you know, Frankowski for Machado. Um, kind of thought I don't want to look. I don't want our winning run to come to an end. But it, I think that might be offside. No, it's not. It's a good goal. Yeah, I think our winning run is going to come to an end. We don't have, a, we don't have enough of... Too many of the best players are injured or tired, too tired to play this game. Bro, we didn't really give them an aggressive preseason. I left it to the ass man. <laughs> yep, we left the train to the ass man. Oh, it's such a difference, man. When you, when you do training on your own... And you have a very aggressive preseason. I don't feel this this pain. Now I'm feeling the pain. Start rim. I've taken a two goal lead against Lons. It's not going to be our first defeat of the season. Staring, I'm st yeah, I'm staring on the barrel. The first defeat of the season. We played. Um, we dominated, but we didn't create. Mm. Yeah, we hardly had any chances in. The whole game. I mean, good chances. None. Yeah, this is a disappointing game, man, at the end of the day. So for our next match, we're going to play Nice. We've got Medina, Danzo. Danzo can play the center. Shotar is back. Samet, Cabo, Mailing, Shabani is back. Pereira is back. So we got most of our players back. Some of them need a bit of... A, they need some time. It's nice to write notes, like, like what I did last season. But this season, I'm not really paying attention to anything that I wrote last season. I'm just playing, winging it. This is how I like to play my games anyway. So we'll see if we can uh, do that and still get a good result. The only problem here is now we're playing against a tactic that's um, already a goal ahead. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we have a problem. We have a big problem. Uh, we conceded a goal right out of the gate. Can't really see our team getting the ball off from. Oh no. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's the most bizarre. All right. That's fun. Oh my God. That was terrible. <laughs> that was next level stupid. I, I mean, why did he just stop there? Okay. All right. Yo. 
Gupta, it's a third. We should go on commentary mode right now. <laughs> Work from a summit, he's brought down. That could be a problem for one of their players. Yeah, he's off red card. Maybe we have a shot at getting something from this game. Ooh. We are definitely attacking the AI. We're going to go higher, counter press, and we're going to take the game. Push it all the way up. Oh, no, no. Release. <laughs> we did tell Onana to release the pass he gave it straight to the player Fortes don't why did Fortes do that? very disappointed in how we've collapsed this game is a, just a story it's a, it's a great story of the collapse the loss of Anthony Rualt has hit us quite badly because I depend on him defensively Right, so now that we've lost him, and along along the way, if we've, we lose two more games, we are certainly a wounded side now. But this is game against Porto, they're playing a 4 2 3 1. We're probably going to stick to our default mid block, pass into space. Uh, we're definitely the underdogs. I don't expect that. I mean, we are definitely an underdogs in this game. Let's not. Pretend that we are one of the favorites. Okay, here we go. Let's see how long we can survive. A Tarimi is already picked out a yellow card. That's good news. Uh, they get the ball to Kunia. Kunia runs at our defenders. Our defenders do enough to put him off. Let's hope not to see those kind of uh, disastrous... Balls from our defenders again. Grojic, Makano, Zaidu, Sanusi, Pistachio, finds Kunia, Mitrovic. Ooh, his shot is just wide. They got a good target forward in Mitrovic. We just have to, good defending from Gradit. Bryce Samba, oh no, Medina. Gets it to Summit. Summit goes away from the defenders, then so back to Medina. To that, to nice. They get away from the press and they get into a good goal scoring position. Openda. Oh my goodness. Aye, the players just one second faster than the opposition at reacting to everything. Yeah, I, sometimes I seem to see it going the other way. Right? right currently in one of my saves, um, I we used to play like this, and then suddenly the new season. I'm always just a split second sh slower than the opposition when I used to be a split second faster. So this is... I've seen this happen in Football Manager this year a few times. Gradit to Summit. Plays it to Gradit. Danso. Summit. Show tight. Nice. Looks for a good pass, but he couldn't release the player. Ustachio. Good reading. Openda comes in. Intercepts that. Danso to show tight. Nice pass to... And it's not to be the second goal. That was the best crafted chance of the match. Okay, I don't like what I see from this team. Let's carry on with the second half. Again, we're still using pass into space, but within the realm of a mid-block. Oh, it should still be okay. They are attacking us with wingbacks and complete wingbacks, so there's bound to be some space. Openda. Openda does everything right and then just lashes at the shot. All right. We still have time, okay. We got Summit losing out. It's out to Mehdi Tarimi. Should, did I wait too long for the substitution? Hope not. <laughs> we know what substitution is. We are due to make a substitution. So Frankowski comes on. Mailing comes on for Aidara. Shota will come off too for Wender Booman. Right? So we got four players on the pitch. Fresh legs right across the center. They've got one fresh uh, DM in Urebi. Okay, you know Santos with a free kick. Straight into the hands of our keeper. Gradit goes early long to Openda. Openda somehow or another. Ah, Junior Onana loses out. They get in. Keeper makes it. Demand more from the boys. They're giving me a headache. Openda. No, we didn't win the second ball because the keeper decided not to trust the players with a play out 
on the back, which is fine because we don't we're not using the instruction. Go on cross again. Oh Manafa. This is a great goal from Mitrovic. Very good goal from Mitrovic. I was I found it hard to defend against that. Uh, they won the second ball and they scored from there. All right, we're gonna take off uh, Pereira da Costa and bring on Marco Leonardo. Uh oh, Wilson Manafa with the throw. You know the reaction of most people, right? When you get a throw in, you should say "Oh no!" first because goals happen. <laughs> Yeah, it's... I don't know. Mitrovic in the area. Like, you know, you, they get to the, cross the ball. Yeah, they get it straight to Mitrovic. Mitrovic beats everyone in the air, man. Well, Dev, we did, we did do well. We put a lot of pressure on them, but I think Porto are just too good a side. When the Bowman's... Oh, boy. What a free kick from him. Well, they have a chance, but we don't have a rule to the, here today. When the Bowman with the corner goes to Dan, so Kunia takes it away. And I think there's not much time left on the clock for us to change the outcome of this match. It looks like Porto get the win they deserve. Yeah, it wasn't to be. We lost. I mean, we've lost now three on the three on the spin. Porto, Lons, Lodogres, and Chelsea. Chelsea? What has happened to Chelsea? Chelsea? What's this is crazy? Leipzig bit yet. Benfica beat Lazio. Okay, that's a good result. Arsenal beating Red Star. Bayern beating Real Madrid. What a match, man. I had powerful substitutions in the second half. Muller and Ivan Nilsson scoring late in the game. Uh, Man City 8 nil winners over Vitesse. And who doesn't score for them? Erling Haaland. Monaco beating Salzburg. And then Atletico and Madrid drawing uh, Shakhtar Port. There we go. Ludogrès beat Chelsea at home. Okay, things are becoming quite interesting. Uh, the AI made a sub super substitute change, man. Uh, they brought on uh, Wilson Manafa who turned the game. So they did, the, I think, in terms of the substitution that they made, right? Definitely the right one. They put on, they brought on Manafa and Manafa made a huge change to the game. Uh, Manafa, Manafa is like a fullback for them, right? So he can play as a winger, he can play as a fullback. He came on and had two assists. Okay. Yeah, big game for them. We we found it very hard to handle them. I mean, we beat the we couldn't uh, hold on to the win. They we they definitely had the better second half and just outplayed us at every turn. So I'm not unhappy with this result. Of course, I am a bit disappointed with how we lost one of our league matches. Um where the uh players decided, well, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna give the ball to the opposition. I think these kind of things will happen on Football Manager. And it's nice to know that you don't win every single game. Unfortunately. Yeah, we all want to win every single game. Sometimes things happen. They just, you know, the wrong thing happens. What can we do, right? We just push on. We just enjoy ourselves. And I'm going to, I plan to enjoy myself. But once again, if Lons, we are, this series ends when Lons' uh, Champions League campaign ends as well. So this is to see how far we can get with Lons playing a 5 2 one And, Interestingly enough, since the patch, we've only yeah we we've won four matches, but we also lost three. So, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I want to see how this uh, tactic comes along, and I hope you join me for the ride. I hope you enjoyed today's show and you enjoyed yourselves. Our oh, data is still not very accurate, is it? Because the CCCs didn't tell us the full story. You guys stay safe, take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>